We use techniques to separate signals into the different frequency components. One of these techniques is to convert a time signal diagram into an FFT diagram. From a certain period, let's say T1 to T2, a piece of a time signal is dissected into its individual frequency components. This is done for frequencies from frequency F1 to frequency Fn, dependent on the configuration of the measurement. Each frequency component has its own strength, amplitude. This frequency is placed as a single spike in the right place on the x-axis. The height of the spike depends on the amplitude of the signal. The strength of the signal can be read on the y-axis. By now, dissecting the entire time signal and converting it to an FFT diagram, it becomes easier to find out the cause of high vibration levels, such as a large imbalance component. The FFT is the most commonly used analysis method for vibration analysis. Let's take a look at an example of an FFT spectrum. Each line represents a narrow frequency range, bandwidth, which have an equal distance from each other. This allows harmonic frequencies and sidebands to be easily recognized in the spectrum. In an FFT spectrum, the lines of resolution, maximum frequency, Fmax, and sample time are included. An FFT analysis is a completely digital method. The analog signal, after amplifications and any analog signal processing, are sampled and converted from an analog to a digital signal. A transformation algorithm converts the digital time samples into a spectrum. In order to be able to measure a sufficiently high frequency, for example 20 kHz, a sample frequency of 50 to 100 kHz is required. This means 50,000 to 100,000 measurements per second. Because a large number of calculations can be performed digitally very quickly, the tens of thousands of sampled amplitude values stored from a measurement can be transformed into an FFT in a matter of milliseconds.